Does the DC Open, which doubled the account in one month, trading Forex, work on stocks, crypto, and futures? In a recent video, we found out how good the DC Open strategy works on Forex. It doubled the account in one month. You should watch that video first if you haven't already. It explains the strategy and how to apply it. In this video, we're going to look at how well it performs on stocks, crypto, and futures. To summarize from the other video, this strategy uses four indicators. Two are required and two are optional if you are on the free version of TradingView. These are the four indicators here. The trading session indicator, daily open line, an EMA, and the Danqian channel. Some people expressed that they were uh, confused on how the strategy works, so I'm going to present it in a different way. Let's assume this is the price action using candlesticks. Then we will draw in the Danqian channel lines and we're looking for a uh, bounce off one of the lines heading up. Let's put an EMA in there also. We are looking for a close above the line. A close uh, above the line here and then a close below the line and then another close above the line. This will be our entry here, and we're looking for a one-to-one -one, uh, risk reward. Make sure there is enough room for the take profit before hitting the other line, and your stop loss will be uh, the most recent swing low or high. We're going to look at four stocks, two cryptos, and two futures. The four stocks will be Meta, Apple, Amazon, and Tesla. The two cryptos, Bitcoin and Ethereum, and the futures, S&P Mini and Crude Oil. Let's put those on the eight charts and then we'll look at each one individually. We're going to adjust the trading hours. Since the open line starts at 9.30 a.m., we're going to trade in the afternoon instead. So the hours that we'll trade are 12 p.m. to 3.30 p.m., three and a half hours. The other indicator settings are as follows. The EMA length is 12. On the open line indicator, make sure the previous close line is unchecked. The Danqian channel length is 60. I was experimenting with three minute charts, but uh, to keep it consistent, we're gonna put it back to five minutes as the other video was. Again, we're gonna be using a risk reward of one to one. We're gonna look at one month of data and you're going to see every trade that I take.
Meta had a result of six winners and four losses. Let's move on to Apple. Apple, using the DC Open strategy, had a result of 5 winners and 1 loss. Now let's look at Amazon. Amazon didn't have too many trades, but the ones that did have turned out pretty good. Results were three winners and one loss. Now for Tesla. Tesla was our first uh, loser so far with two wins and four losses. Keep in mind that's just one month of data and it could probably be improved with some tweaking of the strategy. But we're going to keep them all the same for comparison. Uh, let's look at Bitcoin now. Since Bitcoin is a 24 hour market, the trading session indicator will be off. We just have to make sure we're trading the same session, 12 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. The reason we do this is because this is a realistic backtesting channel. We don't assume the trader can sit in front of the computer 24 hours a day. That's why we pick a session that's just a few hours long. So to keep it in the same session, make sure it shows 12 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is New York time where I'm at. Adjust it if you are in a different time zone.
Bitcoin had a result of four winners and two losses. These uh, cryptos, they're going to be uh, dependent heavily on which broker you use. So keep that in mind. And now for Ethereum. Ethereum is our biggest winner so far with eight wins and one loss. Keep in mind, this is dependent on which broker you use. Now let's look at uh, the S&P Mini. For this, you have to adjust the trading session indicator again to make sure you're trading 12 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. New York time. The S&P Mini had a result of five winners and five losses. Now let's look at the final one, crude oil. Again, we have to make sure we're trading the same session, 12 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. New York time.
Crude oil futures also had a result of five winners and five losses. So it doesn't work so well with the futures, but everything else looks uh, really good. Combining all eight instruments, we get 38 winners and 23 losses, netting 15 wins for the month. With a 1% risk, that will be 15% for the month gain. With 2% risk, that will be 30% for the month. And with a 3% risk, which is very aggressive, that will be 45% for the month. So the DC open strategy is doing about half as good trading these specific instruments compared to the Forex pairs we traded in the other video. I'll do an updated back test in coming months. Subscribe to get those updates. And if you want me to do realistic back tests of other strategies, comment below. Take care.